goes back to what I said in my last video. This morning it started out really, really cool, good and windy. Um, it's not going to warm up much more than it is right now. It's about 50 degrees, wind blowing, wind chills in the mid 40s. Um, moving around, walking around, starting to get a little warm. I had my beanie on, my fleece beanie on, that was in my smock. And I'm warming up, so I can take it off, put it in here, stick it back in this pocket in the rear. And if I get separated from my pack for whatever reason, I still have some warming layers with me for winter time. That's an underrated thing to have on your person this time of year. I really think that's completely underrated. So I'm going to get this put up, take a sip of water, get my pack back on keep going got about uh, four miles well about three left now so You saw me climb up. This is a fallen over tree here. And this tree right here fell across it. Well, it's created this little pocket. And right here is the root system. Um, this puts me up above the ground. I don't know, maybe three, four, or five foot, something like that. But what's cool about this spot, you can't tell it on the camera, but the tree that I'm sitting on that's fell this way is still alive and still growing and it's oak it's a live oak or yeah a live oak and the cool thing about a live oak is for the most part they stay green all just about all year long late 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 winter most leaves will fall off but right now it's still green a lot of brown on it too but the cool thing is this pocket that it creates I can see 360 degrees around me, and if I get down in it, try and show it on camera, tuck up in this thing, it would be very difficult for somebody to see me. Um, If anything, this could be, if you were on the move and you couldn't create a decent shelter, and as long as you knew you wouldn't get rained on, or if you had rain gear on, it wouldn't take much. Throw a bunch of leaves right where I'm sitting, insulate you from the tree, and prevent conduction from sucking the heat out of you. Bundle up. And if anything, at least you'd be off, up high off the ground and away from animals. So, stuff like this is what I like to find. Uh, and you're not going to just willy-nilly find it one day when the thing, when everything is real. And shit's hit the fan. The only way you're going to find it is coming out here, putting in the legwork, putting in the time out here getting dirty and just trying to find this stuff man I'm going to mark it on both my map and I'm going to make a mental note of it um, stuff like this is why I like coming out here it's stuff that most people unless you're out here specifically looking for it aren't going to think about but these are the little things that you have to think about if you want to make your situation work for you because if you don't want to make it work for you you're just coming out here and 
You're just coming out here to come out here at that point. This stuff takes work. It's not easy. People say, well, I'm going out to have fun. Well, yeah, I mean, I enjoy this. I enjoy coming out here. But I'm coming out here also to work. To find this stuff like this. To find these places where I know I can hold up. Or places like this where if I need to, I could come here and hunt. This is also a secondary option for this. I could come here and hunt. I've seen I don't know how many squirrels around me already. And I guarantee you, if I sit right here, within an hour I'd at least have two or three. Um, but you got to come out here and find this stuff. You got to put in the work for this stuff. And you got to put in the work to maintain your body, your area, and what is around you in your in your head. Maintain that mental notes of this is here. Okay. Um, say an example. Half a mile to the east is I don't know if that's east honestly, but it, half a mile to the east is a cache point that I have set up or three miles that way is my main shelter stuff like that is what I don't see a lot of people do I see a lot of people just talk and talk is cheap so didn't mean to get on a rant but I'm out here today. I'm scouting a certain way in to a an abandoned the abandoned river cabin that I have access to for a overnight or a drill or an exercise, whatever you want to call it, that I got coming up in about two weeks. So it's also getting about lunchtime. Fresh beaver sign. This is a run that shoots off from the river, and it's uh it's dried up pretty good actually. My plan is to uh, go on further in, follow it in. I know where it ends, or I know the end of it. Circle around it, and keep heading that way, which is upriver, and. Um, Probably when I get to the end of this bit right here, I'll probably go ahead and stop and have some. Coleman stove broke out today. It's a little too windy to, to use the Esbit today, so decided to go with the gas stove today. And for lunch, gonna have some creamy chicken ramen. Put some pack of Star Kiss chicken in it, and uh, I'm overlooking this swamp, this little little bit of a ledge that I'm on right now. I'm leaning up against this log, just gonna sit here and wait for my noodles to boil and have a little. At least for my area one thing I've noticed and I've learned over time is when you're moving along this area right here that trees falling down there's another tree that's falling down and it opens up the canopy to allow sun to shine down causing all this grass and stuff to grow you see all the way around it there's no more grass only where the Sun is shined through 
Well, areas like this, deer and hogs like to lay up in that grass when it's kind of cool outside or in the middle of the day. Um, and if you're not careful, you can run up on them. Um, I've ran up on hogs several times like that, being in grass like that and deer. Uh, for some reason, it seems like the hogs like it more than that I've noticed. Um, it's just another thought to think about and goes back to what I've said in the past. You need to be aware of little nuances like that in your area that it's not going to be something that you just read in a book. It's going to be something that you learn from field experience and just time. Just time in the dirt and spending time out here and learning this stuff. Fine. Um, this right here is a bald cypress tree. And as you can tell, it is huge. Well, it's half alive, half dead. These cypress trees, a lot of times when they get bigger into this size, especially this size, they start to get hollow. Well, there's my AR leaned up against it, so you can tell how big it is. I mean, the thing is pretty huge. Um, well, there's a hole. Well, I sawed off this and a piece that was sticking out here stick my head in there. I'm going to try and do this with the camera and the light. But you can see, hopefully it shows up, the base of it. Well, let's see if I can't get it. Okay, it's probably not showing up too good. But anyway, the whole I could stand up in there. I looked up in there, shined my light up in there, I was able to stick my head in there, and I could stick, if I'm in there, I could lay down flat and I could stand straight up. You could fit easily three or four people in there. So, I'm going to come back uh, with an axe and uh, probably cut away at that a little bit and um, create a little entrance and make it into a uh, little shelter or something. We'll see how it turns out. Be my own little Yoda hut. Load up on guns and bring your friends. It's fun to lose and to pretend she's overboard and self-assured oh no i know a dirty word hello 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 with the lights out it's less dangerous here we are